What's up guys? I'm back with another uh, safety razor review. Today I will be reviewing the Vikings Blade Emperor Meiji. So it comes in a sweet case just like this. Um, if you open it up, it has or a sweet box and then here's like a travel case. Uh, looks just like this. You open it and the razor sits right in here. It's got some instructions if you've never used a adjustable safety razor before it's got instructions right here and just a little few tips pretty cool i like how they do that in case uh this is a first time razor for somebody <clears throat> so right off the bat if you know anything about vikings blades they are very attractive to the eye uh, probably the most attractive uh, safety razors out there uh, in my opinion, um, just because they have, a, they have a really cool color scheme, um, pretty solid construction. They're usually on the heavier side. This is not my first uh, shave with a Vikings blade, or excuse me, a Viking safety razor. I have shaved with the Chieftain BC as well as the Odin. Uh, my wife actually shaves with the Odin. That's her everyday shave um, on her body. Uh, so we are uh, I'm not to say that I'm a fanboy or not of Vikings, but I mean they're they're they produce some pretty good stuff. Um, so the front side of or the top side has their kind of um, gold plated a butterfly openings. This is a butterfly safety razor. If I didn't say it before, which means it opens from the top. It's adjustable. If you can see, it's got ratings from nine. To one, nine being the most aggressive and one being the most mild. It's got two separate um, safety bars. The one safety bar is like a uh, straight safety bar. And then the other side is like a beveled safety bar. Uh, my opinion, uh, you can definitely feel them. But some people say that they add a little more aggressiveness, like the less Obviously, this would be the most mild. A straight safety bar would be the most mild you could get. And uh, the more beveled into a comb, an open comb, uh, would be the more aggressive you can get. Personally, I don't feel it, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, just because I shave pretty aggressive anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> I really like how this is the size of this uh, compared to, like, a Merker 34C. It's just a tad uh longer so as you can see just a tad longer which actually makes it perfect for me in my hands i do like this is my everyday shave the marker 34c and i like how it kind of sits on my pinky but i have to grab it on the bottom whereas the with this one i can hold it on my pinky and i can grab the grips right here where it's a it's an adjusting so i like that or even under so i like that um, it's heavy. It's probably just as heavy as the Chieftain BC. Um, it's got the cool pommel, which is awesome. I like that pommel. Uh, and the blood stripe, which is just super attractive to me because I am a jarhead. So that blood stripe is just awesome. Uh, very attractive to me. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. So as far as adjusting, uh, adjustable razors go, what happens is the top um component of this safety razor will basically move up and down to give you a more aggressive razor which will come out more above or across the uh, safety bar or come down more to give you more mild shave so again putting it on max is going to get you that more straight and then um putting it to one will give you the, uh, more of a slant and you can kind of see let's see if we can get it where you can kind of see how it moves I'm trying to get it. It's kind of difficult to see. It moves up and down. Um, <clears throat> besides that, I will be shaving today with a uh, Persona Lab Blue um, blade and um, Sterling Barbershop paired with its splash and its um, post shave balm. I will be using a Omega. 1081 bore brush and uh, I will be doing a face lather 
So let's go ahead and load this blade. A couple things you need to know about this before you start is make sure it's set to max when you open because the opening will not open as well if you open it on the min. It's, it's not going to open enough. See how it opens? That's, that's me turning it all the way versus if I put it to max, it opens all the way. So you need to make sure you do that when you load <coughs> your razor blade because if you don't, you're going to scuff up the side of your blade and you're just going to get a horrible shave. All right, blade is loaded. So notice how it kind of stopped. That's just because it's adjustable and sometimes it gets caught. Not a big deal, it still functions well. It lined up really well. Hardly any blade movement. I like it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start on max, why not? We're gonna start on max, where are we looking? There we go. Let me go ahead and get prepped and we will rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and, I just got out of the shower, but I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face because it's dried off since, and then I'll start with the, um, a face lather. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to do a few passes. I'm going to start with a uh, with the grain first pass. I've had about four days of uh, about three days of growth. I'm going to keep my chin and mustache just to get a head start on uh, no shave November. And uh, yeah, so here we go. The Emperor Meiji on max aggressiveness first pass with the grain. Super, super nice, super great uh, grip. Um, great first first pass so far. <clears throat> All right, and like I said, that's a great first pass. Very smooth. Uh, the blade. <clears throat> The razor is pretty heavy, so you got to really let it do it, uh, its its own thing, but it was a really good first pass. Let me clean up. Very nice. All right, let's lather up for a second pass. Okay. For the second pass, I'm going to go from ear to nose on each side, um, and uh, I'll keep it on the max setting. Here we go. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and go against the grain um, on my under my neck and chin. See how that works out. Very nice. So far so good. Um, I'm really liking this uh, safety razor. Let me clean up and get ready for my final pass. <coughs> wow. It's really good um, second pass. Very smooth. Very nice. Really liking this uh, safety razor so far. Let's uh, go ahead and lather up for the third and final pass. For this uh, third and final pass, I'm going to be using my left hand to uh, kind of feel around to see where I want to clean up. Use it as a cleanup pass because it's already cut very, very awesome so far. So. 
basically going to be um, just doing a cleanup pass. I'll probably do it kind of against the grain or a diagonal type pattern. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> let's get it going. I'm going to clean up and uh, we'll do some final remarks. Alright, <clears throat> it feels great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with an Allen block just to see if there is any sort of burn. But I'll tell you right now, that felt like a great shave. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I like it a lot better than the Chieftain and the Odin so far. Let's see what we got. This is a very sensitive area for me. Nothing. Yeah. All right. That's just awesome, guys. So, um, final remarks on the Vikings Blade Emperor Mage. This was paired with the Persona Lab Blue Blade. And um, I set it at the max setting for the entirety of the shave. And it does have, you know, multiple other settings. So this was to kind of test how aggressive it could be. It had a very good shave. It kind of reminds me if you stuck like a feather in maybe like a neutrally aggressive um, safety razor and just kind of hit it with your feather. It's a very close shave. Very nice. No nicks or cuts or anything like that a um, couple things that i like about it is obviously the way it looks it's super attractive probably the most attractive safety razor i own um i like that it's adjustable so in case i did need to you know because i'm 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 guessing that with the one it's going to be super mild probably like an edwin jagger and you can just kind of go real quick and do a quick shave if you need to hurry up i took my time on the max just to see how aggressive it was it was fine um, other than that, I love the density of it. I love the length of it. Very smooth, very smooth. It's cool that it does have, if you can tell, um, the difference between the straight bar and the bevel bar. Uh, if you can tell the difference, it's cool that it has it. I kind of could on that one, um, just because I had it on the max setting, I think. So that is cool. I do like that. Or even if it just gave me the placebo of you know, feeling safer or whatever. Um, much more to say than this is a pretty solid, this is probably my favorite Vikings uh, safety razor. Definitely smoother than the Chieftain 5BC. And you can add, you know, it added that you can adjust your different settings. It's probably the most attractive safety razor uh, from Vikings, in my opinion. Um, great weight. I probably would not recommend it as a first uh, safety razor for your first one one because it's adjustable and you might not be know what, knowing what you're looking for and two the density it's very heavy it is probably twice as heavy as the marker 34c and even just holding it with my slippery hands you can see it's kind of slipping so it's it's heavy and um, if you don't know how to work a heavy razor you might end up uh, not letting the razor do the work and it could nick you a few times um, that's a positive for me because I like the dense safety razors, but for beginners, I would not recommend this. This is kind of an intermediate type um, safety razor. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, great shave, great quality, um, super awesome attractiveness, and just overall great, I would say a great um, safety razor. Probably one of my favorites now. I might even start working this in to my everyday, uh, everyday shave. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. If you have any questions, like I said, hit me up. Thanks.